everyone needs a shoulder to cry all right, everybody, welcome back to another grocery haul. I've got a big grocery haul for y'all today. I really wanted to just go to one store, get everything I needed. A lot of times I'll shop the sales and I'll get, you know, what's on sale everywhere, but I just wanted to save time. And I decided to go to Walmart. Layla's going to cry through this because she really wants me to sit down and hold her. Um, I went to Walmart, actually a town across from ours, like next to us. And I think I like that Walmart better. And it I believe is about the same. It's a little bit further distance, but there's no, there's absolutely zero traffic. And so it was amazing. And the Walmart was completely empty and our Walmart is always insane. So I might go there more often. Ended up having to run in. There was an Aldi right beside it. So I had to go in there because Walmart was out of something. I'll show you guys that in a second, but I spent $120 at Walmart. I think I got a lot of stuff for that. And then I spent $10 at Aldi. So this is going to be get us through the whole week. The only time I may go back to the store is if Kroger has some sales. I'm not sure what their deals are, but if they do in the middle of the week, I may go back. If not, this should, this should hopefully get us through. David went and bought milk because we were out of it. So we have milk. I didn't buy that today. All right. But we are pretty much out of a lot of stuff because we're just getting back from our cruise um, Mark's class is having like a pumpkin themed week. And so they needed everybody to bring like a small pie pumpkin, sugar pie pumpkin. They did not have very many. They have three pumpkins at Walmart this size. So this one's probably not the best looking one, but I guess it'll do. I got him that they're going to paint them. And then they had a sign up list going for other stuff they needed. And one of the things they asked for was pumpkin cookies. So I got these pumpkin cookies at Walmart and they needed 20. Of course, there's only 18 in here. So I had to buy two packages, but no big deal. I'm happy to help out the school and they're going to have like all different type pumpkin treats and stuff. Um, I'm assuming when they say pumpkin cookies, they mean like pumpkin looking cookies. I don't, I don't know. Hopefully these will be good. Um, they also had like jack-o'-lantern, but I didn't want to do that. Anyway, iceberg lettuce. For the meal plan this week, we're doing like our typical, we have, I actually bought a rotisserie chicken. We have that still. We have, we're going to do that with veggies. We're going to make salads, which I bought salad stuff already at Sam's. And then we're going to do like burrito bowls one day. I'll have all the stuff for that. Um, we're going to do an enchilada casserole with cauliflower one day. So it's pretty much like just our basic food. And this is just kind of fill in and stuff we need to kind of go with all that. Got some mini peppers, got some mini cucumbers, got a big pack of strawberries, got some bananas. I need an enchilada sauce for that casserole. So two cans of that, got some apples. We were out of the sugar-free barbecue sauce. We love G Hughes anything. So I got some more of that. Went ahead and got a big thing of coffee. Coffee has gone up so much in price, but it took me forever. I was looking all through the coffee, trying to figure out what was the best deal. And that donut shop coffee, even though it was like over $10, it ended up being cheaper than any of the other coffee. So we went with that. And I know we like that. I got two um, blocks of mozzarella cheese. And I also got some more American cheese for grilled cheese. Lucy loves these mini semi sweet, mini semi sweet, I can't even talk, chocolate chips. She puts them on her yogurt, so I wanted to refill that. We needed some more string cheese. Update on the string cheese. She does like the ones that I bought at Sam's. She never even said, like, she never even noticed they were different. So it's a much better price at Sam's, but I went ahead and bought that because we were almost out. And when I go to Sam's again, I'll probably stock up. We needed more goldfish. I got Nate some more of his favorite macaroni and cheese, 58 cent kind. Um, I got some more cheese crackers. Some of this stuff is more expensive at Walmart. I was really trying not to go to Aldi, but then I ended up having to go to Aldi. So some of this stuff, it kind of hurts because I'm like, I could have saved a little bit of money if I bought that at Aldi. Anyway, it is what it is. It's just a few cents here and there. Um, I got some bread, some chewy granola bars and some cereal bars, the mixed berry kind. I'm out of the French toast for Nate. So I got two boxes of the Great Value Cinnamon French toast. I got a spaghetti squash because I'm going to make, that's the other thing I'm going to make is the cheeseburger spaghetti squash casserole. So I need a spaghetti squash for that. I got two cans of cinnamon rolls. 
Kids love that. I ended up buying this big thing of like margarine. We normally use real butter, but butter has gone up so much that I occasionally, like if we're making grilled cheese or quesadillas or something, I will supplement it with a little bit of this. This tub will last us for months and months. We don't use it that often, but sometimes it's just nice to have. We got some, um, I can't even talk, y'all. Lou, Mark, Nate, <laughs> Mark asked me for, he's like, do we have any gummies? And I told him I'd buy some. So I went ahead and got a big box of the Fruit Smiles. I got Nate his buttermilk pancakes. He eats that pretty much every morning for breakfast. That's He's on a big pancake kick. And then the reason I had to go to Aldi is they did not have any turkey pepperoni at Walmart. They had the Hormel one, and I hate the Hormel one. I do not like it at all. It's totally like thicker cut. It just, I don't like it. It's very chewy. The Walmart version, the great value version or the Aldi version is much better. So I ran into Aldi just for this. I ended up getting two packs. So we'll have it for a while. Um, it was $2.49 a piece, which I think is a good price. I think at Walmart, it's a little bit more expensive. And then when I was checking out, I saw that they had some flavored coffee. And I wanted to make some cold brew, like a flavored cold brew. And they had the maple pecan pie, and they also had uh, pumpkin spice. And I went back and forth on which one to get. I decided to get the maple pecan pie, but I may have to go back and get the pumpkin spice. I think that would make delicious cold brew. And then, okay, so Mark's color of the day. <laughs> if you remember back when I was looking for a yellow shirt, um, this week's color is orange. And you would not think in October... Um, or tomorrow is October as I'm filming this, it would be hard to find an orange shirt. But I'm telling you, Walmart had none. Um, they had one orange shirt, but it was long sleeves and like thermal. There was no short sleeves at all, even the girl section, none of it. So I decided when I was at Aldi, right next door to Aldi was Goodwill. So I thought, well, Goodwill surely will have something. The only orange shirt they had in his general size was this one. Um, and it's a 4T, which is probably going to be a little bit small on him or a little bit tighter. Normally, I buy 5T or um, like boys size 4 or 5. But that's all they had. And it was, the tag says $3.49, but it was half off. So I got this for like $1.75. So we're just going to see. I figured for $1.75, we could try it on. Hopefully, it'll work even just to get us through one day. If it's a little tight, not too tight. Maybe we can make it work, and then he'll have an orange shirt. If this doesn't work, I guess I'm going to have to, I don't know. I didn't realize in time to order online. I tried to look at Walmart's um, app today, and it said that it would take two days to ship, which is going to put it here too late. So, anyway, <laughs> there's my color of the day saga. He doesn't have to wear color of the day. They just said they can, but he loves doing it. So I try my best to accommodate that. But anyway, I'm going to put all this away. I am like tongue tied today or something. I'm out of practice of doing grocery hauls. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I like shopping around and getting the best deals. But then I also feel like I spend less money when I just go into one store. Because like, like this example right here, I went into Aldi for just turkey pepperoni. And then I saw that coffee. And you know, I'm not, I don't regret buying it. But all those little things do add up. So. I don't know. I may experiment with trying to only shop one store a week or something like that and then stocking up when I can and I'm at that store. I don't know. I'm going to play around with it, but let me know how you shop. Do you shop sales or do you just go into one store and get everything you need? Let me know. I'm trying to decide which way would be the most cost effective. I do think when you can limit the amount of stores you go into, you do save money, but then I hate paying like full price when I know I could get it cheaper somewhere else. So Anyway, I love you guys. If you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Tonight we're running on the right track.